Hello, it's Katie here and I hope many of you were able to tune in to Sunday's service. Andy spoke from the passage in John 4 where Jesus healed the official's son. And one of the striking things from that passage was that Jesus healed him with just a word, even though he wasn't even in the same place as him. And the official believed Jesus' word. He trusted in it and his faith was born and his whole household believed. Andy encouraged us that we think about our own uh, our own faith, our own walk with Jesus and how we listen to his word. And particularly at this time, perhaps, uh, one of the ways in which we can do that is to use Bible reading notes. And these are the notes that Andy and I have used. And uh, I would encourage you to perhaps give a try if you're not already doing some Bible re daily Bible reading. They're called Explore. They're available from the Good Book Company. And we'll put a link on the website so that you can uh, work out how to get those or give us a give us get in contact with us and we can help you with that. Um, they just take a short Bible passage each day, explain it really faithfully, answer some of the questions that we might have, uh, encourage us to think about how it applies to our life. And it's a really good way in which we grow in our faith and our understanding. A couple of other uh, things to recommend as well that have been helpful to me as I've been reading over these last few weeks. Um, one book is called The Dawn of Heaven Breaks, Anticipating Eternity. This book, we'll also put a link on the website so that you can find out how to get it. This book is, it's an anthology of scripture, of hymns, of uh, short biographies of people's lives. Um, and it's it's written for those who are perhaps facing illness, particularly those perhaps towards the end of their life. But it could be for anybody of any age. Um, thinking about such issues as facing aging or facing illness or even facing death and thinking about what eternity looks like and having that perspective of eternity uh, to change the way we live now. Um, it's a really beautiful book, really encouraging, and it's not a book that you have to read from cover to cover. It's one that you can just dip in and, and choose something that feels particularly relevant to you. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend that. The, the Dawn of Heaven Breaks. And finally, uh, this is a book that I um, recommended at our 5.30 service a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's called Big God. And I have been really encouraged by thinking about how awesome God is, how he is all powerful and in control of everything that is going on in our world. So particularly in relation to all that's happening at the moment, I have found this really encouraging. But that also raises some questions about how can a God who is sovereign, who is in control of everything and who is or loving, allow bad things to happen in our world. And this book really helps to unpick some of those questions and to give us a bigger view of God. It also sort of answers questions such as, what difference does that make to my prayers and God's guidance and my decisions? Um, so, so some big theological issues that are explained in a really simple, helpful way. So that is Big God. And we have got copies of this book. They um, they retail for about £7 on, on websites. Um, if you would like a copy, get in touch with us and we can then uh, work out the best way of getting a copy to you. And that's all for now. So I hope those are an encouragement and see you again soon. Bye.